because um, it's critical because all of the educational agencies at every level into which we've invested a great deal of resources uh, not just of finances but also mm -hmm. lives I mean we've uh, the, every every one of these institutions has a powerful story mm -hmm. you know how it came to be mm -hmm. and I would say that all of us are facing some very very profound challenges. Mm -hmm. Challenges that might even ra bring into question our ongoing existence. Mm -hmm. And um, in, in a context that is rapidly changing, the world of education, mm -hmm. the financing of education, um, the models of delivery mm -hmm. for, for education, are they going to be face to face or is everything mm -hmm. going to move to the internet? Uh, the diversity, our racial, ethnic diversity, uh, religious diversity, all of us are unsure, I would say, mm -hmm. about what the future holds. And in those moments of institutional uncertainty, I think it's important to step back and ask, how did we get here? What were our goals then? Mm -hmm. How can we learn from that? What is it we want to take with us? What is it we can we can set aside, and that we enter into this period of change? We are in this change, but that we continue in this period of change with as as much good information as we can have mm -hmm. about where we want to go. Mm -hmm. And to me, those are ultimately theological questions. Mm -hmm. If there isn't a theological rationale for Goshen College mm -hmm. to exist as a school that has a distinctive vision, mission, purpose, then we should, I, I, we should be something else. I mean, mm -hmm. then, then I, don't, I don't have any interest mm -hmm. in continuing employment <laughs> here. I mean, then we should be at a state school and be good researchers or something, mm -hmm. which are not bad things. Mm -hmm. But um, I think all of us are asking those basic questions. Mm -hmm. And uh, at the heart of that is, Will we have the resources and the confidence to embrace a certain kind of particularity? Mm -hmm. I argue in this book that every school mm -hmm. has a particular identity, mm -hmm. just like every congregation does. You will have uh, an ethos, right. a tradition. You will have an identity. And can we embrace that, coming out of this Anabaptist Mennonite tradition, in a way that is uh, confident is articulate and welcoming mm. and do all of that that we can say this is who we are mm -hmm. this is why we think it's important we would love to have you become part of this and help us to see mm -hmm. ourselves in a new way but you're joining something that already has an identity mm -hmm. it's a living identity but it has a particularity mm -hmm. to it